Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial of the series of uh, the chapter Molecular Basis of Inheritance. So I hope that you are uh, seeing all the videos and the concept about the structure and function of the RNA is much more clear. So after, right after the discovery of the DNA and everything, scientists and people were a little bit of confused that DNA is the genetic material that was known to all. But when the expression or all the characteristics were expressed, those were made up of proteins in everywhere like the eye color from the skin color to the hair color and hair texture, structure, everything. There, uh, the scientists found that protein is the component which is giving us the result. Then where is the thing, where is the link between this? DNA is carrying the information of all the things, everything of life. That is, we can say that this, that this is carrying the blueprint. This is a kind of blueprint. While it, it is showing and it is carrying all the information and everything, but the result is shown by the protein. So, what is the story behind it? So, right after the discovery of the structure of the DNA, Crick first said that Crick first said that there must be some link between the DNA and the protein. That means there must be something, presence of something, which actually can convey the information, whatever is stored in the DNA, to form the protein, which is showing the result. So, that is middle term that middle uh, form was nothing but RNA and then it was conveying its message through the protein which we were seeing. So he first said this thing like DNA will be uh, sharing its information or passing its information to RNA and that will carry the information to form the protein and protein will give us the result. Uh, we can see the result of the protein. So, this was the scenario, this was the concept which was given by Creed and as well as this, this was one concept. Now, this is happening all the time constantly throughout generation in every individual. But what about the transfer of DNA from one cell to other cell or from parental cell to the next generation cell or filial cell? There must be something or there must be formation or making of the copy of the DNA. So, he said that DNA can make its own copy, make its own copy with the help of replication. The process he named was replication. With the help of replication from one DNA, it can make two DNA copies so that from one cell when two cells will be formed, each, each cell will get each one copy of DNA and everything will remain constant and as it is throughout the generation. So this was the process of replication uh, of DNA by which the DNA can make its own copy and then the DNA can whatever information is stored in the DNA that can be copied to RNA with the uh, what is the name of that process the name of the process was transcription and then after passing the information after copying all the information to the RNA it can convey the message through the protein with the help of translation so we are going to study about three of these processes like replication, transcription and translation in a lot of detail after few classes. So this is the scenario, this is the concept which Crick said as central dogma. Why so? Because this was firstly unknown, this was a hidden fact, the RNA fact was hidden fact that how the information is conveyed through the protein and we can see the result uh, in the form of protein. So, uh, this was being discovered first and this is the central rule which has to be followed by every cell of each and every individual and each and every type of cell. So, that's why this was the concept of central dogma which was given by Creek. But after that, in the year of 1970 or so, one enzyme was discovered. The name of that enzyme was reverse transcriptase name of that enzyme was reverse transcriptase when this enzyme was discovered 
scientists saw that with the help of this enzyme from RNA, this was an unidirectional process which was drawn by Crick, which was given by Crick. According to this model or according to this uh, theory, the process was unidirectional process. The central dogma was unidirectional process. That means according to him, it is never possible that from protein RNA will be formed, from RNA DNA will be formed. It is never possible. From one DNA, the other DNA can be formed. DNA can, be, can make its own copy. But the opposite directional process can never be happened. Actually, it can never be happened that to make uh, RNA from protein. But after the discovery of reverse transcriptase, the concept got clear that from the RNA, from RNA, it is possible to make, sorry, from the RNA, it was possible to make DNA with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme. So after that, after this discovery, the central dogma got little bit modified and this is the modified version. So through replication, the DNA can make its own copy through the help of transcription the DNA can form the RNA with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme. Reverse transcription can happen. Reverse transcription can happen and by the help of reverse transcription from RNA, DNA can also be made. And from RNA, with the help of translation, the protein synthesis will happen so this is the final central dogma which is now accepted by all the scientists that this can be happened in each and every types of cell and each and every types of cell can follow this rule for conveying the message stored in the dna through the protein and which can express its character and we can see that so about the uh, three processes, replication, transcription and translation, I'll talk to you in my next few videos. So keep on watching my videos and I hope that this video you found helpful. If that, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any question about the central dogma. Thank you.